first thing you do anytime an officer pulls you over, whether it's right or wrong, you can fight that later. Pull over, show them your hands, have your license and registration out. And for goodness sakes, don't tell them that my brother knows your cousin's first uncle's <laughs> friend. That never helps. Never and never helps. mention donuts. They've heard everything. <laughs> never mention donuts right. or John Boy and Billy. Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> and, yeah, and yeah, don't yeah. tell them, I, I pay taxes, I pay your right. salary. Right. That's, exactly. that's not right. a good exactly. Never a good story. Mm. Now, if you're stopped by, do you have a, a right to know why they stopped you? Do you have, can you ask that question? What did I do wrong? Now, usually they ask you that question. How should you respond to that question? Always they say, you have a right to know why they pulled you over. Mm. Billy, if they, ask, they pull you over, they usually come up to your window and say, we pulled you because you ran the red light at Monterey mm -hmm. Drive, for example. Uh, if but they, they, but you, they will usually say, do you know why I stopped you? And I would say, I have say. no idea, officer. I have okay. no idea right. why that yeah. woman's hanging out of the car half naked. <laughs> no idea. And if, no I've idea. Had a, and if I had a couple cocktails and he asked me to use a breathalyzer, what do I do? You know, I always tell people, comply with the officer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, get out. Take your time. Mm -hmm. If you're asked to do the performance test, if you feel like you've had too much to drink, obviously don't take the performance test. Mm. If you feel like you're going to be close, I would take them. If they ask you to blow the breath test for a first offense, I would say absolutely, officer. And then as soon as you get out of jail, go to the hospital and get your own independent blood test. Wow. Mm. And, of course, the very best thing to do is not to be behind the wheel when it's even a question. Well, especially now with Lyft and Uber yeah. and cab service, right. there's really no reason you should get behind the wheel of the car mm -hmm. after one or two beers. Yeah. And, and, that, and, and that's the thing. I mean, just just basic, you know, be be nice. Mm -hmm. I, I, I got pulled uh, a couple of months ago coming to work. I ran a little late. There's a shocker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was going. So, <laughs> so, so I know the first thing, you know, don't get out of your car. When right. you pulled over, both hands on a steering wheel, right. like you, you said, have to establish and you, registration. You are not a threat to them. That's the first thing to establish. They don't need to be Absolutely. nervous about but walking see, the But car. see, the thing about it, Pearl's in the truck with me. And y'all know if you come close to my truck, Pearl goes crazy. Mm -hmm. That's her truck. So yeah. so I, I got, I had to get out of the truck. So I got out, and I just mm -hmm. stood there, and I said, Officer, I got a dog that protects this truck. That's why I wanted to stand out here mm -hmm. to talk to you. Right. Well, the other thing, people now, especially with handgun permits, if you, if you have a weapon in the car, officers need to know you mm -hmm. have a handgun in the vehicle so you don't present a threat to them or they don't take it the wrong way when you're reaching for your registration right. or when you're reaching for a firearm. Always tell them, hey, I have a firearm, and it is located X. That mm -hmm. that That is something, too, because my, my buddy, my, my officer, Tiggy, says when they pull you over, if you have a concealed carry, it shows up when they when, when uh. they run your tag. It'll show up that you have one. And, and he says, you know, and, and some cops, and, and he trains them, he says, y'all, you don't have to be worried about this, you know, because a lot, maybe the new officers, some say, he's got a gun, he's got a gun. So, mm -hmm. look, he has a permit, all right? He's been through classes. He knows what to do. It's not like a criminal hiding a gun in the right. car. Right. Well, one thing, the requirements to have the permit are that if you get stopped, you're supposed to tell the officer, hey, I have a carry permit, and the gun is here, even though he right. may already know that. You're right. absolutely right. right. So so you, you tell them anyway, you no matter me. what. Now, you know I have a carry permit, officer, the gun is located X. And if you've been drinking at all, it violates the terms of your carry permit. Right. Mm. So if you've had any alcohol at all, even one beer, one glass of wine, whatever, it violates your carry permit, which means even if you don't not get a DWI, you may be arrested for carrying a concealed weapon, even though you may have a concealed carry and, permit. And wait until they ask you to see your driver's in a little bit. You don't want to have your hands moving in the car as they're walking up to it, right? Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Because the, the minute they make as a driver, you make some action, then they're going to react to that because they don't know what they're doing when they approach the vehicle. So, and, and like I said, just to reiterate one more time, a lot of people, you know, they, they say, if you've been drinking, drive, just refuse the test. Do not do the test at all. Problem now is if you refuse the breath test, DMV is going to take your license for 12 months, whether you're found guilty or not. Ah, and, oh, really? And there's a provision in the statute, the officer can go to the magistrate, which is kind of like going to Dairy Queen and going to window number one, mm. check a box, they'll give you a warrant, they can take you to the hospital and forcibly draw your blood. When in the process can you say, I need to call my attorney and they have to comply with that? After you're under arrest. You can't do it until after mm. you're placed under arrest. Then you That's say, I'd like to speak to my lawyer, and they'll say, fine, we'll give you a phone call. If they don't, then they've got some problems. I got you. And remember, George.